It's an interesting story. One school administrator is giving up his car to better relate to his students. And to help get a better understanding on how he can help his students with disabilities. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Pierce Gorlett sat down with him today and has more. Pierce? Megan and Rod, the executive director for the Nebraska Transition Program, which helps disabled kids, is riding the Lincoln Star Tran all throughout this month to help teach his students how to become more independent. Meet Dr. Stuart Stofferin. He is the executive director for the Nebraska Transition College, and one of its sites is at SCC. It helps kids with disabilities get acclimated to the world around them after high school. And for the month of May, Dr. Stofferin is ditching his car and experiencing what it's like to only ride his bike and the bus. We can write curriculum all day long around the kitchen table, but it's another thing to experience it. So I'm, I'm going carless for a month and I'm learning how to ride the bus. Before this experience, Dr. Safran, like many people, had many assumptions on what getting around Lincoln is like only using a bike and the bus. He says he has been pleasantly surprised. Kindness and compassion rules the day. I mean, I, the first step I took on the bus, I was, you know, I didn't know where I, where I needed to go, what I needed to do, and a complete stranger just jumped in and said, I'll get you where, I'll get you where you need to go. For him, the experience he has learned gives him a sense of comfort now teaching his students how to operate the busing system. And just imagine what that looks like for our students. You know, they've, they've got disabilities. All of their life, they've had to listen to, no, you can't, and there isn't. And there's been a lot of bullying in these students' lives. And to know that they can step on the bus and they can have complete strangers jump in and help, that just makes my job a whole lot easier. For parents who still might be hesitant on letting their kids with disabilities ride the bus, Dr. Stofferin has a clear message of hope. What I would tell parents is that we don't grow in comfort. We grow in discomfort. If you would like to find out more information about the Nebraska Transition College or donate to their schooling, you can go to klknTV.com and find a link to their website. Very interesting.